Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you a game between Alexander Lehin and the pen. This is a game from a simul that Alehin played in Odessa, Ukraine, in 1918 against 31 players. And this is a notable game against Penn, who was filling in for his brother Pencil. Alexander Alehin had white pieces and he started with d4. Penn played knight to f6, knight to f3, e6, bishop to g5. Is it going to be a tour attack? Bishop to e7, knight from b to d2, d5, e3, knight from b to d7, c4, transposing to queen's gambit, declined. c5, queen to b3, pen castled kingside, rook to d1, c takes on d4, e takes on d4, knight to e4, bishop takes bishop on e7, queen takes bishop, bishop to d3, knight takes on d2, rook takes on d2, d takes on c4, bishop takes on c4, b6. 10 moves. And pen is holding against the legend. Alehin castled kingside, bishop to b7, rook to e1, queen to f6. Intending, bishop takes knight. After queen takes on f3, queen takes queen, pawn takes on f3, rook fighting and winning the pawn, perhaps, on d file. Pretty good plan. So this is the most interesting moment of the game. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? This is not a trick question. I found bishop to e2, but I am not a genius. Another good move that comes to mind is d5, getting rid of the isolated pawn. After e takes on d5, bishop takes on d5. But this is nothing special for white, is it? In the game we have an incredible move. Bishop takes on e6. Penn was shocked by the move. He didn't see it coming. You see it coming? After Penn regained his consciousness, he captured the knight on f3, showing that he didn't recover from the shock. So what is the best move then? What is the best move for black in this position? The best move is f takes on e6. So why Pen did not take on e6. Let's have a look. What did he see? He saw this. Rook takes on e6. And if queen to f5, rook to f6, check winning the queen. But this is not winning the queen. In his mind's eye, he didn't find queen to d5. And black is actually winning now. Believe it or not. And if rook goes to e5, then queen to f7. So in the most critical position, Penn didn't find the best move. He played bishop takes on f3, which is not a bad move. Perhaps this is the second best move. Bishop takes on d7, queen to g5, threatening checkmate, and queen takes rook. Black is still doing well. Queen takes on f3, queen takes rook, queen to c3, black to move, to take queen or not.
Pen played queen to g5. He didn't want to take. He didn't want to exchange queens because then the pawn on d5 has a defender. But taking on c3 was the best for black. We have a queen to g5. The dust has settled. And the pen was very excited. He was thinking of writing a story about his success. He is at least equal and he wished he had a mobile phone to tell all his friends and all his enemies about how well he is doing against Alehina. But it's not finished until a skinny lady sings. The game continued. Bishop to c6 attacking the rook. From a to c8. d5 defending the bishop. f5 d6. Queen to f6, bishop to d5 check, king to h8, queen takes queen, black to move. How to recapture? With the pawn or with the rook? How would you recapture? Pen recaptured with the rook. Better was the ugly looking one, g takes on f6. So we have rook takes on f6. White to move. What is the best move for white now? Hmm? The best and the winning one is d7. Rook to d8. Rook to e8 check. Rook to f8. White to move. White. Play the move when black resigned. Can you find that brilliant move that Alehin played in this position? Bishop to f7. Pen, pen resigned in view of this continuation. Rook takes rook. What else? Pawn takes rook queen. Rook takes queen. Bishop takes rook. And we can stop here according to Stockfish and Vegeta. There is a checkmate in 26 moves. Just kidding. I don't have a stockfish, but I have a getter, which I use for cooking. That is why. Pen resigned in this position. But he was quite happy. He thought of this game as a success, because after the game they didn't call him NN. They called him by his name, Pen. Pen is mightier than NN. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.